World Fist research will be carried out in North Queensland to help endangered reef turtles. Cyclone Yasi in 2011 took a heavy toll on the creatures, with many left stranded and starving. A new centre has been opened in Townsville to try to find out why, as Nancy Knotson reports. It's a marine mystery with few clues so far. After Cyclone Yazi, there was a lot of turtles that came in um, sick and we didn't know how to diagnose and treat them, so they died. Ellen Ariel is on a mission to find out exactly what makes these endangered green turtles tick. It's very difficult to diagnose why an animal is sick if you don't know what it looks like when it's really healthy. So what we're do, looking at here is healthy animals. What constitute a healthy turtle? Associate Professor Ariel and her team of six PhD students have set up this new centre at Townsville's James Cook University to monitor the creatures for the next year. They hope their work will help save the turtles on the Great Barrier Reef. The centre is now home to 40 of these little guys who will spend their days eating, swimming and being studied. They've already had one lucky break in life, being saved from hungry seabirds. So we came upon these turtles that had emerged from the nest in the daylight and they were being completely swarmed by seagulls. So we jumped in and, and rescued these turtles and now they live here with us. To be able to bring them back into a, a world's first facility that you can actually study them under control conditions and try and understand what's happening is a unique opportunity and probably a real benefit for the Great Barrier Reef and its animals. The donor-funded facility had its official opening today with work on stage two due to start later this year. Centres like this could be a, a starting point to help educate not only um, people here but even through the schools, maybe the Reef Guardian schools, so there's a whole range of um, ways of um, sharing the information. Offering hope to creatures great and small. Nancy Knotson, ABC News, Townsville.